Hi guys, Jennifer here again and today I'm back to share my no foundation makeup routine. During my first trimester, the pregnancy hormones broke me out a ton. Um, I was getting new breakouts every single day. I changed up my skincare routine a little bit and uh, of course I started drinking over a gallon of water a day so this definitely helped. I haven't had a breakout in about two I haven't had a new breakout in about two months however I still have a lot of acne scars um, now during that time that my face was breaking out I took a I took a break away from the heavy makeup such as like foundation um, as y'all know uh, some foundations can just be extremely heavy on the skin and can lead to breakouts of course clogging your pores and things of that nature so I took a break to let my skin breathe however during that time my self-esteem was not ready to show my acne scars to the world. I still wore makeup, you know, to cover the acne scars. I just didn't put on foundation. Now, I was pleasantly surprised at how many compliments I got on my skin, even though I wasn't wearing foundation. And I decided to share. Hopefully it will help some of you guys out there who may want to wear makeup and maybe like cover your scars but maybe you don't want to put a ton of product on your skin and clog your pores. So here goes. I've already primed my lids with NYX eyeshadow base in 03. But I'm going to add just a little bit more because I've been sweating since I've done that. And I have some really, really fat fingers. So I have to <laughs> choose which finger that I want to use to pat in my base. I'm going to prime my entire face with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This one, I don't know if y'all can tell. I gotta squeeze it out here. I'm gonna put it all over for the sake of time because I usually do this in about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes at the most. If I go over to 15, that's way too long. I'm probably playing around. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with LA Girl Pro Concealer and cover up my acne scars. And this is the color Toffee. I'm going to go ham. Like you guys are about to see <laughs> where all my scars and discolorations were. I mean, a lot of them have uh, disappeared for the most part. I'm just being self-conscious here. And then we're going to go in under my eyes and conceal there just to wake me up a little bit. So while that's drying a little bit, I am going in with Anastasia's Renaissance Palette on my eyes. And I'm only working with two colors and these are my two favorite colors like, like disregard how messed up my palette is but look at what I've done to tempera here. Like there's none left. I don't know. I can't buy a whole new palette for one color so I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, I'm going to go in with raw sienna on my lids and just wind shield wiper motions. And then with the other end of the brush, I'm going to go in with tempera and I'm just going to put it right here over my eyelids. And again, I'm only working with two colors because this is designed to be really, really quick. 10, 15 minutes at the most, and then gone. So. And then I'm going to go in with my blending brush by Real Techniques and just kind of blend out the edge of it a little bit so that it blends with the other shit. So I'm just going to touch it up a little bit more. Alright so now that my concealer has become tacky a little bit 
I'm going to now go in and just tap it in and blend it out with my fingers. Let me just add some mascara and I'm using, what is this, Rimmel, Rimmel London's Lash Accelerator. It's supposed to help your eyelashes grow. I'm not certain if it does help or not, I just like to think that it does. And I'm not using uh, eyeliner today because again this is supposed to be quick so you can either leave it like this or if you want more of a pop under your eyes you can go in with a uh, another concealer just under the eyes to brighten it up a little bit more and that is what I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial if I was in a rush I wouldn't do this I would just skip this step but I got time today so I will highlight and then we're gonna go in with our beauty blender and blend it out first Okay, this step, what am I looking for here? Oh. Now we're just going to set with, I'm using MAC Studio Fix NC6. Alright, so now I'm going to contour a little bit. It's not like a true contour, I'm just... Yeah, it's not a true contour. I'm just, I'm, I'm not sure what you call it, bronzing my face. I don't know. It's all kind of the same to me. I'm just going to bring some color to my face so it doesn't look so whited out. And I'm just going to take this all the way around. You can call it bronzing, contouring, I don't know, I get those two mixed up. Okay, and this is also optional. Again, if I was in a hurry, I would skip this step, but I am going to contour my nose a little bit just to make it a little more defined. Feel like it looks a little wopsided. I don't know. I feel like it looks a little wopsided a little bit, but I can fix that with highlighter. Now I'm just checking it to see if I'm okay with my contour areas. I'm gonna go in with the what is this? Gerlon? Gerlon? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Terracotta bronzer. Just to darken it a little bit more. Especially like down here. So that it blends better with my neck. Because, you know, sometimes the face. I think on everybody. Everybody's face, I think, is like way lighter than their neck. I'm just going to kind of like go around and make it take off the excess makeup with a blending, oh, what do you call this? I don't even know, a fluffy brush? I don't know, but take off the excess powder with a fluffy brush. And I could probably stop here 
but I have time for a highlighter today and I'm just going to use my go-to, what is this, oh, Anastasia's Glow Kit in Sun Dipped and just slightly strobe and I'm mixing together, what is this, bronzed and tourmaline, I'm just, I always mix these two together. Bring it down here because my nose does look, my nose contour looks wopsided. So I'm just going to cover it up. And I think that's sufficient. And as you guys can see, um, it's not full coverage. If you look closely, you can still see my acne scars under my skin. Like for here, like you can definitely see this and some discoloration under it. Like you can like my makeup is still translucent you can still see my skin underneath it this is what I'm doing right now as a daily quick go-to glam I do apologize I accidentally did my lips leaning down and you guys couldn't see my lip combo is Anastasia's undressed lip gloss and a matte chestnut lip pencil Thank <laughs> you.